Hey YouTubers and welcome to another episode here on ESG and Net and this is the Kansas City Royals franchise Royal Court Insider. This is episode number eight and we are looking at the May report. Uh, so the month of May has been pretty great for the Royals here. Uh, you'll see here in a bit the schedule that we had uh, in the month of May and uh, pitching overall has been great uh, for the Royals and uh, we've also had a, one of our players return back to us uh, towards the uh, middle part of the month. Uh, take a look here. Uh, we split some series with a couple teams. Uh, Rangers, we did a four-game series with them. We split uh, two with them. Uh, we lost a series against the uh, Indians. Uh, we lost two games out of three out of that. Uh, and then a the series we lost against the Yankees. We lost uh, two out of that. So... Um, for the most part, we've won quite a bit of our games. We've uh, won some series. There you see with St. Louis there at home. And then, of course, towards the end of the month there, uh, we uh, won. A, we won a, actually, we swept the Yankees there at home. Um, of course, the Yankees could not do that to us. We avoided the sweep uh, when they came to KC. But there you see the game right there that uh, was uh, pretty difficult for us. Uh, well, I should say pretty difficult for De uh, for uh, Danny Duffy as he lost his first game of the year against the Yankees. It was the shortest outing for him. Uh, he had four uh, four innings and a th I don't know, four innings and two thirds uh, that he pitched, and just yeah had a really had a rough time. Got roughed up pretty early there, as you see in the third inning, and then pretty much the bottom dropped out uh, there in the fifth, and just had a tough time trying to scrape up runs offensively for that uh, for that particular game there and uh, Duffy ended up getting his first loss there so Duffy got his first loss uh, for the season uh, he was on track uh, I believe at that time I think he won his first five or six starts uh, quality starts there and then he uh, uh, had a little snafu there as the Royals couldn't manufacture any runs now as for the Royals right now they are 35 and 15 for the season uh, for this, uh, for the first two months of the season, uh, there you see the current standings right now as we go into the next month. Um, of course, uh, White Sox right behind us, Tigers, Twins, and then of course the Indians there with 21 and 29. They are 14 games back uh, of the division leader. Uh, so uh, for the most part here, we you know we had some injuries that uh, plagued us. Uh, we had a couple guys that were. When it came to fatigue, it was uh, getting to them. Uh, guys like um, uh, uh, Moose, uh, Maxwell, uh, uh, which we'll see here in a bit, uh, he got reassigned. But for the most part, you know, injuries right now, we don't have any. We're thankful uh, that uh, we were able to get Lorenzo Kane back. Kane came back uh, towards the middle half of the, of the month and was uh, ready to go. Uh, and we got him back in the lineup, even though. Uh, you know, it was kind of a tough decision because uh, at the same time, um, Gerard Dyson was playing very well there in center field. And, I mean, he's still on the, on the roster. Uh, he's still with us on the on, on the, four, on the uh, main roster here on the, with the Royals. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of uh, getting used to having him uh, be the leadoff guy there. And I think we'll see a lot more of him um, coming up here. Uh, playing more, probably uh, more out to right field as we're going to try to rest up uh, Morse as he's been hitting very, very well. We may even put Morse in a um, situation here where he's a DH uh, from the time to time so we can have that bat still in the lineup, uh, When uh, especially when uh, Moose right now has been struggling. Uh, defensively, we may, may move him, uh, only have him up uh, to pitch on uh, – or up to bat on certain days. As for Maxwell, as you see there, he got recalled back to uh, AAA Omaha. He's been reassigned. Uh, as of course, you know, we brought back Kane. Kane came back. Um, Kane has been struggling a little bit here. He's having had he's having he had a tough time there on uh, the last couple of games. Uh, but you guys, uh, for the most part, um, he will uh, will we have a full belief that he's going to get back to the swing of things. Uh, going back to Mustakas, uh, his uh, numbers are going up as you see there uh, when it comes to training and whatnot. Uh, some areas are, are lowering, 
But defensively, for some reason, he's having trouble um, throwing the ball. He's actually had a couple of errors in several games. And we're going to try to figure out uh, what the deal with that is. Um, and like I said, we'll probably have him and Zubris um, play on uh, on different days. Uh, you know, when uh, I think ha or I think uh, Moose is better w with righties than he is with lefties. So we'll have a kind of combination of that. Eric Hosmer having a very well good two months already for the season. Uh, Hosmer hitting the bat very very well. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's on a current hitting streak now. I think he has like. Uh, 10 or 12 games he's hit uh, in a row, along with Gordon, who's uh, hitting very well. Um, as you see, some of his numbers there for the season. Uh, both guys are hitting very, very well, seeing the ball very well, hitting the uh, ball, finding um, pretty much uh, just uh, just holes in a lot of the team's defenses that we've been playing. And that's what we want to see from our, our former guys that hit in the 4, 5, and 6 hole uh, in our lineup, the heart of the lineup. Michael Morris, like I said earlier, uh, he's been hitting very, very well here. He's had uh, now, I think, uh, I think he's up to 12 home runs right now for the uh, season. Uh, let's take a look. I oh, know he's at 14 right now currently, uh, with 32 home or 32 RBIs. Um, again, we, like I said, I, I been talking to a lot of the coaches, uh, and and they kind of all agree that uh, they might end up having Morris as a more of a DH kind of guy. Uh, against righties, uh, we're gonna still keep Adam Lynn uh, as our DH one against lefties because I uh, want to play the numbers there. Um, as for whoever's gonna play in right field, again that's when Dyson will come in the mix and he can play out there to uh, left field or excuse me out to right field there. Um, and of course we have Kane and um, Kane at center and then um, Gordon at left. Um, Lynn hitting the ball very well here too. Uh, he's been in a little bit of a slump uh, against uh, the uh, some of the left-handed pitchers, um, but you know he's uh, you know he's an experienced player. He'll figure out a way to get out of that. He is kind of upset with us as you see there. He's a little upset that he is not playing um, every day. Um, but we've kind of explained to him about the role that he's going to be playing. Um, you know he's kind of our platoon kind of guy. Uh, we'll need it when we, uh, you know, when we do have. Uh, I, I will say that when we do have some interleague games, when we're on the road, uh, we'll start using him a lot more often because he is more familiar with uh, NL type pitchers. Uh, so we'll have him in that situation. As for our pitching, uh, Felix Hernandez right now, as you see there, he looks ecstatic. Uh, but again, he has uh, been struggling somewhat on the on the hill. Um, he a couple games there. He had uh, some uh, pitching uh, issues. Uh, he was uh, get he would get into a, um, a, a you know a, a pitcher's count and then would end up um, get into trouble and end up getting in a hitter's count where uh, it got to the point where he got to a full count and it was either he walked a guy or he struck it out. So. Uh, I think he needs to be a little more dominant on the on the hill. Um, again, having you know he's just having those struggles there, and he's trying to really think he's trying to find his place on the team. He is the ace for our club, uh, but I don't think he feels like he is the ace, and uh, we got to try to reassure that. As for Danny Duffy, really one of the guys right now is being overlooked in our pitching right now. He's not getting much praise and whatnot. Uh, for uh, for our team, as like I said, he has been undefeated uh, so far well, up to this point since that uh, game there, uh, up to that point where I should say up to that point of the of the game that we showed earlier here in this episode. Um, yeah, very been very dominant there and, and pitching very well, and we're hoping that he will continue that on. Uh, Shipley, there you see his number six and three uh, for the year so far, uh, and again just looking very very sharp. And uh, very on key, um, striking guys out, uh, really taking a, really doing a great job there of just being dominant on the field because pitches are crisp. They are, um, he shows a good command, good control of his pitches. Um, hasn't had too many issues where he's gotten to any uh, major trouble in a lot of his games. He's getting a lot of great run support from the ball club. Um, so we'll, we're hoping that that will continue on. Uh, for the remainder of the season. 
Uh, same thing can be said about Eddie Butler. I, as you just uh, seen there, his numbers there. Um, he's been pitching very well. He's been had a couple of times. He's had some trouble there, uh, where he had uh, some, uh, you know, got a, got himself into some hot water there, but was able to maneuver himself out of that and avoid uh, getting scored on. But again, same time, he's had some issues there, uh, where he's uh, just he just he's lost every he's pretty much lost command and everything, and it kind of spirals out of control. Uh, but the good thing is, that so far the the bats have come alive for him. To get him uh, to re- keep him remain in the game, uh, but right now there you see just some of the numbers there from a lot of the different uh, categories in the um, ball club. I believe, uh, like I said, I think uh, Morse has 14 home runs. He has the most so far for the team, um, and uh, you know he was one of the guys. I think we, I I mentioned probably several times there that we were going to try to um, see what he can do if he can. Uh, hit well for us, we was going to keep him around. If he wasn't, then he was a guy that we could possibly shop around and maybe uh, do something uh, with maybe some um, uh, prospects or some kind of uh, deal with a team that was looking for an outfielder. There's actually several teams looking for an outfielder um, right now. Uh, but right now, honestly, I think he's not going to be on the table for us. Uh, I really, I think... For us as an organization, we really need to look into more of um, a relieving role. I know um, Lewis Coleman, he's down in AAA, and he's been actually been asked, uh, he's been uh, requesting to come back up to the uh, Major League ball, ball, ball team, and I think we might end up having him uh, be a reassigned back to us uh, as, as effective with probably uh, the next episode. So uh, he could be making a comeback. Uh, to the uh, up to the majors. Another thing too is uh, we have also got some uh, pretty good numbers uh, when it comes to um, uh, Ventura. He's been uh, he's been um, demoted down to um, the uh, AAA, and uh, there's been getting some good reports and numbers from him. He could possibly make a return, and it could make a uh, start here pretty soon. Maybe um, the the order maybe. Uh, Rearranged, uh, he could be a day two starter, uh, which would make uh, Vargas a day uh, three, and then uh, we have uh, Duffy as a day four, and then uh, either uh, probably be Shipley that would be a day five guy, and then of course Eddie Butler would be um, in the bullpen as a long reliever uh, there. So uh, right now we're, that's just the talk right now, uh, but Ventura he's been hitting or he's been pitching very very well. In the minor leagues, there are there in Triple A, so uh, he could make a possibly make a return back to with the Royals. Um, numbers wise, three uh, three hundred nine average, hundred or nine hundred and fifty six at bats for the month, two hundred ninety five hits, forty home runs, two hundred or one hundred and twenty one RBIs, twelve stolen bases, uh, a eighteen and nine record for the month, uh, two forty uh, ERA, a uh, one seventy four hits given up. Uh, 46 walks, uh, 280 strikeouts, and nine saves for the season. So, uh, and then of course you just seen the standings there, uh, and a lot of uh, teams, you know, sh- you know, just still shuffling around in the uh, the season so far, as we have now officially put two months into the season in the books. Uh, so coming up in the next episode, actually the next edited. Um, this episode will be a Texas Rangers game. I believe it's going to be game. I think it's the second game of that Rangers series. There, it's a Sunday night game, I think. Uh, but before that, you guys will actually see a uh, full length game. It's inside the game um, episode where it'll be. Uh, I believe it's Felix. His uh, f- uh, start against the. Um, Cleveland Indians and going against James Shields, uh, former Royal, our former ace, will be uh, taking on the Indians there at home in that one. So it should be a good one. It's a full length game, uh, so you guys can see that from the beginning to the end. Uh, but then after that, you'll we'll see some more edit, more uh, going back to our edited uh, series, and you guys will see more. Um, you'll see that Texas Rangers series there coming up. So. Um, that should be uh, coming up here very soon here on the channel. So thank you guys so much for uh, checking us out here for the Royal Court Insider. 
as uh, we just take a little review back there uh, in the month of May. Uh, like I said, very good month there, and uh, we got some games coming up here. We got we got several uh, uh, away games, but, but uh, some of the games I'm really looking forward to are uh, the St. Louis series there, uh, also the Milwaukee uh, home and away series there that we're going to have, and of course uh, the Houston Tex or Houston uh, Astros series there towards the end of the month uh, should be very interesting to play also. So. Uh, of course, always Boston. We're uh, hosting them coming up, and that always hurts my heart because it's my team. But uh, <laughs> for at least in this world, uh, we're, we're we're Royals fans, and we're going to see uh, what we can do against uh, the, the um, boys there in Boston. So we'll see what we can do against them. So uh, thank you guys again for uh, watching. Stay tuned for more Royals franchise here on ESGN Net. You guys can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. Make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe for more Royals baseball. Uh, so thank you guys so much. As always, keep yourself, keep yourself and each other healthy. And I will see you guys next time.